Um, all right. Well, let's get down to it. Oh, Billy fucking booze bag is back. I fell off the wagon. I couldn't do it. I'm fucking with you. I'm still on the fucking wagon. I went to Vegas and I passed that test. I was at the, uh, the Monte Carlo, not the race, the fucking casino. <clears throat> Stayed over at the MGM Grand because they're doing some uh, construction, I guess, on the Monte Carlo. So they had me across the street. And, uh, oh, my God, what a fuck. Oh, there's, there's no better people watching than when you go to Vegas. Holy shit. I went down to the pool. Yes, I went down to the pool. I was working with Bartnick. He's an Italian guy. He actually has pigment. So he wanted to go down the pool. I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm not going to stay in the room the whole time. So I go down to the goddamn pool, dude. And it was like right as the sun had already started to go down. It was on the other side of the casino. So there really wasn't any sun on the water. So there was maybe a five or six young people there. And everybody else was my generation or older. And holy shit. I know this is a hacky topic. I know this is. But thank God I never got a tattoo. Thank fucking Christ. If you saw these fucking people, and they're my age, man, 49 years old, no shirt on, all these fucking chicks with their ankle sorority tattoos, telling kids what to do with tattoos. You know what I mean? And they're not good. That, dude, what it kills me about the tattoo becoming mainstream was the incredible like lack of research that most people did, their total lack of respect f- for the art form, and the complete lack of respect for themselves to go out and, and try to actually find somebody good at it. I got to tell you, I must have seen 500 fucking tattoos on about 100 different people down there at the pool. Everybody just tatted up. Shit show. Man boobs are just pecs sagging down. You know, women you always got to give a pass because they, they, have, they have to bear children. All right? But guys, man, there's no fucking reason. You just keep doing the push-ups. Keep the chest high and tight. What the fuck are you doing? Lay off the pizza and the booze. Fucking guys just walking around with their saggy chests and the fucking tribal band, the tramp stamps, those sorority ankle tattoos, just fucking horrific. I went down there and was just sitting there, just reminded of my own mortality, going like, Jesus Christ, I really want to fucking act like I'm above these people, but like, you know, smartest fucking thing I... I that I, I didn't do was I never got a tattoo. Jesus fucking Christ. Thank Christ I never did it. You know, I like it used to be back in the, you know, because look at me, I'm not a tattoo guy. All right? Tattoo, they, 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 it's got to go back to badasses. You know what I mean? Guys in biker gangs or in prison or like chicks who know how to shoot pool <laughs> and wear leather pants. Right? Maybe I'm out of my fucking mind. So we went down there and we just looked at that fucking sea of humanity. And then this guy just comes out just screaming about how he lost 20 grand. And he had a big grin on his face. He goes, throw me in the pool. I can't swim. Maybe I'll drown. I just lost 20 grand. I just lost 20 grand in there. And I looked at him. I was like, that fucking guy doesn't have 20 grand. There's no fucking way he's got 20 grand. And who fucking walks? He's, he's just acting like he's a big shot, right? Or maybe he did. I have no fucking idea. So, um, and we went over, we did the show, and after the show, we sat out by this giant air conditioning duct behind a wall on a picnic table and smoked cigars, and it was great. And I didn't participate at all in the Vegas shenanigans. I knew enough when I walked through the lobby, and I saw the people, all the young people. I was like, this is their time. Don't be the creepy guy hanging around ruining it. Get the fuck out of here. So I went back over to the MGM, walked back. And uh, I got back probably about 12.30 at night. And that was that first wave of women that had had enough, you know? Two out of three of them are walking barefoot, carrying their horseshoes, right? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And they're just their dirty feet just walking to the... F- <laughs> with a giant fucking drink. And uh, I was glad that I, I stayed. I did stay out of that and I didn't booze. Although I did smoke a fucking cigar. And I uh, kind of did it on an empty stomach. 
And I got to admit, I was a little fucking nauseous because it was this giant Cuban. And the next day, we, we took the helicopter out and back. And on the way back, there was like a 17 to 30 knot wind, depending on what altitude we were, until we really got down low, flying over the 15. It got down to like nine knots, and we kind of getting pushed around a little bit up there. And there was a couple times I was just like, oh, my God, I'm feeling a little nauseous up here. You know, that's not what you want to see from your pilot asking for a puke bag. I mean, the most comforting thing he can say at that point, oh, it's all right, it's all right, I, I, I drank last night. <laughs> So um, anyways, but I got to tell you, man, flying out there, taking the helicopter and going over the Mojave Desert um, was, it was, it was fucking incredible. The desert is so, it's like beautiful, terrifying, boiling hot and freezing all at the same time. It's just fucking, uh, I swear to God, I don't know why. You know what, something that people thought we faked the moon landing, that's probably where they went, right? They probably just went out to the desert, you know? It's a lot of mountains, though. I don't think they faked it, man. I think they, I think they got up there. I don't give a fuck. Maybe they didn't. There's so much shit for me to fucking babble about.